Warning, the following trailer contains scenes from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. From the director most likely to masturbate to an explosion comes two hours of moving pictures and loud noises that, because it was filmed on a camera, technically qualifies as a movie. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Strap in for a film that somehow managed to be much, much worse than the original with more racism. What are we gonna do with this shrimp taco? No, he's Bubba Cap and his ass throw him in the truck and then nobody gonna know nothing, not me. More product placement and way more than you care to know about Transformer Anatomy. I am directly below enemy scrotum. Assemble for a filmmaking effort so lazy, Michael Bay reuses shots from the first Transformers and shots you literally just saw earlier in the movie. Soundwave acknowledges, pursue her. Decepticons, mobilize. It is time. Come on, man. In a universe full of awesome transforming robot characters, prepare to get not excited as they focus on the same boring humans from the first movie. They're Sam Witwicky, who's graduated from stuttering to derp face. Megan Fox, who once again combines the looks of a professional porn star with the acting of an amateur porn star. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about your eye. John Turturro, who found a new low after being peed on by a Transformer in the last movie. Hold on. What is that? Those two army guys and Sam's parents. Because if there's one thing fans never ask for, it's more time with Sam's parents. Hey, Professor. I'd do anything for an A. All right, Grace Slick, we got some snacks in the car. Let's go. I'm upside down. Ride once again with a whole team of interchangeable Autobots as they face off against a team of even more interchangeable Decepticons in a series of battles that look like two junkyards having sex with each other. Seriously, I have no idea who's fighting what. Turn off your brain for a plot that isn't just bad, it straight up makes no sense and leaves audiences everywhere wondering, why does the US military forget it has an anti-decepticon gun until the last five minutes of the movie? Why does the Allspark bring Megatron back to life if it's what killed him in the first place? If the shard brings Megatron back to life, why doesn't Sam use his shard to bring Optimus Prime back to life? When Sam dies, why does he go to Transformer heaven? Why not people heaven? Why is Sam's roommate in this entire movie? Why is Washington DC Smithsonian Museum in the middle of a desert? Since when can Decepticons transform into human beings? And why don't they all do it? And what was she doing at Sam's college? And why does she seduce him instead of just killing him? Ugh, we've already put more thought into this than the people who made this movie did. Beginning, middle, end. Facts, details, condense, plot, tell it. Starring all these Michael Bayisms, spinning camera, the military, low angle shots of people getting out of cars, glistening face wet, hot babe extras, a slow motion helicopter, and booms. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. What I try to do is I, as a director, I try to... <sighs> ah, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now you know how we felt watching this movie, Mikey. My name is Optimus Prime, and I send this message to all of humanity. Please subscribe. Autobots transform and roll out! Giggle McFunny Buns, Banana Phone, I am altering the deal, pray I don't alter it any further, but I believe Aang can save the world, I gave her my heart, she gave me a pen, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street?